Well, we hooked into him this morning, you too. Old Bram. Come here, you pretty looking thing, you. Got down here this morning trying to get down here before it gets so hot. See if we can catch a few. Pretty blue brim. I love that blue color on them things. These must be biting back the other way. There's four boats past me here, four bass boats in the last five minutes. And all of them going back the way I come from. So I must have came the wrong way this morning. I might better turn around and go back the other way. That must be where the fish is. Well, he tore up all the paint on that grainish looking jig head. Let's put a safari orange on there and try it here for a while. This little beetle's probably got another 10 or 15 fish to be caught on hit. Boy, I have to change it out. Who oh, I change my beetle spin? I get my use out of them. started going out. <clears throat> it's rolling now so I'm fishing backwards letting the boat drift back. The one fella that started hitting me, well behind me, he's past me and he must be a half a mile down the river now. I probably should have cut five or six foot of this line off after I hooked that mud fish because he probably got a weak place in it but maybe it'll be okay for the day. Sunfish, don't knock it. The water dropping out some today. Maybe it's time to go out kind of low, but I hope it do. Cut through this here creek in. Now that water's going to support up in the river. I'm going to cut through these shallow creeks and pick up a few red breasts or brim. And get a little bit of shade. <laughs> Hung up, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna reel the tip of the rod down to where the lure is. Pull it off of there. <clears throat> I don't know if the color jig head on there helped much or not. It's starting to get hot. It's about 10:30. Fish is kind of slowed down, but the tide's dropping out some of the day, so. We could try them a while, see what they would do. Oh, red breasts. Let's let you grow up to be bigger where you'll be a pretty red breast whenever you get older. Oh, got a lively one here. <laughs> a little bass. You were kind of lively there, though, buddy. Woke things up in here. Come on, I'm trying to get the hook out of there without tearing your mouth so bad. There you go. Uh, you'll be pretty decent size next year. Cracker. 
boat rod is cruising. Yeah, jump knocker. This tide is falling out as low as I've seen it. In a long time. Maybe some of that fresh water from up the road starting to get out of here. Feels like I got one of them mud fishes on him now. Let's see if I can fight him down. Maybe he'll get off with it without messing my. But a lot of time they make a run with it. All I got is a 10 pound test line on him. A lot of times the old big mudfish make a run with it. They run hard. I got my drag set, but sometimes they still yet give it such a hard jerk they'll pop it. I won't get around that foot on that motor. But what I'll do, I'll hit the button and let out the line. Try to keep him from popping it, and he's went back under the motor. Now he's on a treetop out there. Had to give him so much slack to get him from under that motor. And now he's found a treetop to get in. He probably popped me off there. too hard he will pop it maybe he'll come from around it I hope Top. Try to get him good and tired before I reach for him.
foot must be hung in the corner of his mouth good. He sure ain't want to give up. This long. so long he probably weighs over 10 pounds. Man, it's a big bowfin that we call a mudfish. Original name bowfin. You don't never stick your finger in one of these things, Miles. They got teeth. <clears throat> Let me get my pliers. Pliers, let me get that hook out, try not to bend it up too bad. Ah, uh, we got the hook out. Man, what a both end that is there. Uh, that's a grown both end there now. That's I know. It's got to be 11, 12 pound probably. Still, I can get him in the box. I don't know if the wife would want to do anything with him or not. You know what? Oh boy. Mudfish, both in, whichever one you want to call them. Get them put up. Check out my hook on there and see if he ain't been hit all up. We'll try to catch some more bluegills in a minute. Uh, hand size shell cracker. YouTube, I hear it. Thundering pretty heavy back there behind me back there. I might have to make a break perch in a minute. And yeah, the tide going right on out today. It getting maybe it'll start working right another three or four days if we don't get too much rain. I'm not sure what the wife is gonna do with that big mud fish. She told me not to throw them back. She makes something called pack seal or uh, or pack seal or um, think of the other name now, YouTube we had to pack up and get out of there it started thundering and lightning and I got you at the house and it started it's raining here already but uh thought I'd get a weight on this mud fish here I'm gonna guess at about 11 pounds I'm try to pull the weight and, um but I can tell that uh, this is a female. The reason I can tell, she don't have a spot on the tail. The, the males will have a spot on the tail. little black spot with circled in red, I think. And that'll be your male mudfish. If, the ones like this without a spot, <clears throat> the old folks used to call them a cotton mud. 
because they're so soft and mushy. The one with the spot on the tail, they used to call a hard mud. But, uh, but that's the difference though between the male and the female. The female won't have a spot. The male will have a spot on the tail. And I'm going to try to get him hooked up here to pull a weight or her. Just out of curiosity, this is one of the biggest mud fish I caught this year. And it's been a while since I weighed one. And I'm just guessing around 11 pounds, maybe 10. See if I can see if he'll cooperate and get these scales hooked up. Well, not even that. Eight pound. I sure thought she'd have went more than that. But eight pounds what it is. But still, yeah, that's a, a healthy big female there. But, uh, but synagogue, that's the other name I was trying to think of that the wife cooks. And I was down in the river, but I think that the Paxi is what she uh, puts a lot of vegetables in and puts in some soy sauce and uh, different uh, spices and seasonings whenever she cooks the uh, pack seal and everything. So anyhow, it's hot and ain't doing too much in Black River right now, but hope you enjoyed and See you the next time we get out there. Thanks for watching.